Okay, so uh, before I show you how you can enable TPM 2.0 on your PC to make your PC compatible for Windows 11, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel because only 2.2% of you are subscribed. So uh, first of all, go to the search bar and type tpm.msc and here you see compatible TPM cannot be found. Actually this will be shown when the tpm is not in your pc or it is disabled you need to make sure that your motherboard does have tpm and for that i will drop down some links in the description so you can see and above that you need to have supported intel and amd processors if you want to run windows 11 as i told you links will be in the description so you can check them out Intel Core, Intel Pentium and Intel Xeon processors are supported. And to know specifically which versions, you need to go to the link in the description so you can check that out whether the processor you have is there or not. For AMD, Athlon, Epic and Ryzen series and Threadripper series are all supported. For me, I have Ryzen 5 3600, so my processor is supported for Windows 11. When it comes to motherboard, these are the series that are compatible with Windows 11. For me, I have B450M of MSI, so my motherboard is compatible and has TPM 2.0. Now uh, go to your web browser and download PC Health Check. You can go to Microsoft's official website if you are a partner of inside a program that then you can just log in and you will get the download button but in case you are not I will drop down the file horse link in the description so you can download PC health check from there Once the download is complete, install Windows PC Health Check because this is gonna tell you whether your PC can run Windows 11 or not. After this, just go ahead and restart your PC. But before that, make sure to join my Discord server. Link is in the description. Here you can find a lot of members you can chat with and there are many text and voice channels. Especially there is a giveaway section if you want you can participate in giveaways last month xbox game pass with a two month subscription was given away future giveaways will also be held so make sure to join the server if you haven't and for that obviously you need to be active in the server also there is a self promotion channel if you want you can promote your social media or some kind of work you have there and you can share memes chat with me and my friends also there is a movie streaming section where i stream movies Red Notice was streamed last month and some other movies will be streamed soon. If you are looking for teammates to play with you then you can go to the game chat section and find teammates for you so that you can play the games that you like with them. And there is Dank Memer for your entertainment in case there is nobody you want to talk with you can have fun with Dank Memer. Okay, coming back to the video, you need to hit restart and wait for your PC to boot up again.
when the screen goes black wait for a bit before windows starts loading start pressing delete f11 or escape whichever keys takes you to the bios it is different for every motherboard your bios section might look different from mine but it doesn't matter just go to settings in the security tab go to trusted computing in here security device support is disabled by default in my case so what you can do is enable it and if you are an amd user you have to enable this amd fdpm switch you have to enable it and if you are an intel user you will have something called PTT so yeah enable that once it is done just hit F10 on the keyboard to save and exit or what you can do is just go back and select save and exit there when you will click save and exit a prompt will be there so just hit yes Now your PC will restart again, so just let it be. Once your PC boots up, just head over to the search bar and type tpm.msc again to see if TPM 2.0 chip is enabled or not. Now you see it says TPM is ready to use which means we have successfully enabled TPM 2.0. Wait a second, let me show you the clearer version. <laughs> and tpm.msc here you can read everything if you want to tpm is ready to use in the steps bar and tpm manufacturer information amd version 2.0 so yeah everything's good to go now run windows pc health check to see if your pc can run windows 11 or not even after all this so you can see windows 11 is ready and it's free now you can just head over to the update section and download windows 11 we are good to go so that was it for today's video see you in the next video soon till then goodbye take care and thanks for watching